It's boat day. Last weekend when we went out on Tony and Kathy's boat, we the engine overheated. So Tony thinks that it's a thermostat issue. So today I'm lucky enough to help Tony out, break down his diesel engine and learn how to install or replace a, a thermostat. Uh, so I, this is the stuff that I'm looking forward to. Like me. <laughs> so as you might remember, we had a overheating problem and I already cleaned out seawater strainer, replaced the impeller. But we think it might be the thermostat, which goes right here. Got a new one. See what it looks like. thermostat sticks then it would definitely make it overheat I haven't replaced it before kind of got this one off of Amazon this is kind of what it looks like thermostat opens up and that is what from temperature and that's what causes the water to flow through the engine block and cools the engine. It's got that and a seal. So we'll take that off and and see if that's what we think it is. Hopefully so. your old thermostat make sure not to mess up the gasket try to save the gasket the paper gasket if it's still good uh, if you happen to have a new one put it on and then also make sure the area where it mounts is clean make sure there's not any dirt or residue or any kind of sealant that was left in it before uh, also make sure that it's not a o-ring or gasket that's inside of the, the neck uh, the filler neck that uh, covers the uh, thermostat, actually, the thermostat cover. The old thermostat seemed to be okay. It seemed to be working. It wasn't stuck. So we'll test it later to make sure that that's what it was. But it looked okay. But I replaced it with a new one anyway. When replacing the thermostat cover, you know, be careful with the paper gasket. Make sure you get it aligned to get it in position. Not have it wrinkled up underneath and then insert the bolts. Tighten down the bolts. Don't tighten them too tight or don't break them off. Do not over tighten them.
Okay, so here's the old thermostat that I just took out. What happens, the way this thing works is it opens as it heats, as I said, at 70C, actually 71C, you can see it right there maybe. Um, then what happens is this little top part opens up so the water goes past it, goes down past it and into the engine. Um, uh, actually circulates through the engine so what I'm doing is I'm gonna microwave some water here uh, get it get it good and hot and then we'll put it the thermostat in the hot water and we'll see if it opens up then we know if that was the thermostat or not so uh, not sure if that's gonna be it or not uh, let's see it should be hot enough Oh yeah, it's boiling. That should be good. So what we do is we just drop the oh sorry about that. Cloud of it. So you can't see. I'm gonna drop it in there like that. And then we'll be able to see if it opens up or not. Let it sit there for a few minutes. Get hot. Make sure if you test tools, make sure you don't burn yourself. Okay, let's take it out and let's see if we see what we see. Okay, now if you look down in there, you'll see that it's opened up. It did open up right there see that crack sorry it wants to fog up the camera but there's a crack right here where the water would go past it and as it cools it'll close back up see that crack right through there so that means it's not the thermostat problem there. So now we have to figure out. And it seems the water comes out of it. I don't know if we've got a leak and it leaks the water out and that causes it. Could be. But anyway, got to investigate more. But I don't think that's it. Ain't no way to chunk it in there. Start thinking maybe the through hole stopped up and needs to be cleaned the through out. Hole. Yeah, there ain't, no, ain't no way you can get nothing in there. It's right there. It's like 90. How am I going to get anything in there? Take out them four screws. <laughs> do it. It'd be hard if it cut, it would cut all the way off. I think what I need to do is get a diver down here. Get him to go underneath and see if he can clean all that out. So we cut the water on over it wasn't like a fire hose it was just like a you know yeah no it wasn't i mean i, I would think water ought to shoot up by like i mean you got ten thousand pounds mm -hmm. twenty thousand pounds excuse me sitting on that water pressure why don't you undo one bolt and see what happens on them screws yeah oh no i ain't about to do that that thing's got probably a gasket in there that'll never seal back because I don't think it shuts all the way. I don't think I get it back together fast enough. The hose I could I can see, but. Well, didn't you say that that thing is really hard to turn off and on? Oh, it's yeah, it's a pain in the butt to turn it off and on. Well, maybe maybe it is something in there. I think we need. I think the smart thing to do is get a diver down here and get him to go underneath and chunk up in there and see if he sees anything. If I come down here with him. I can turn that on and turn and open this valve, open this strainer over here, and see if, how much water comes out. At least I can stop it. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't about to take them screws out. That, that'd be a bad move. I, I, I can't. You can't make me believe that's going to be a good move in any form or fashion. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt to open them up. And it don't seem like to me it closes all the like way up. Okay, we've cleaned the seawater strainer. 
We've replaced the thermostat. And what else could it be? Let me know what you think it is. Hit us up. Give us a comment down below and let me know what your guess is to the heating problem on Dreamweaver. Next week on Dreamweaver, it is Christmas party time for the sailing club. Okay, so Tabby's birthday is today.